Cancer, what's up? Welcome to Starchaeology Tarot. I'm Desi, and I will be your Starchaeologist for this October reading. Um, guys, please forgive me. I was not here last month. Life got in the way of life, and, um, do you know how that is? Anyway, I'm here now. Um, and I'm happy to be here. I... We're gonna do a archaeological dig here into your month of October. Um, what are we looking at? I'm hoping to uncover some real insight, insights and inside scoops um, into your present moment, your past, your future. Um, your What is the key to your alignment and to putting you on, on the best path that you could possibly on, the best of all possible worlds for October? Um, how to make that happen for you, how to fulfill you, encourage you, support you, strengthen you. Um, if you have additional intentions that you want to set, please take the time to do that quietly or loudly. I don't care. I'm on a computer screen right now. Um, to yourself as I tune in and shuffle with, um, with spirit right now. If you have a same goes, if you have a question that you want to ask specifically for October, just keep in mind that some of this will resonate with you and some of it will not, and that is totally normal. Um, you are so much more than your sun sign, Cancer. Um, that's just one aspect of you. So if something doesn't resonate, know that that's meant for another Cancer. And also I encourage you to check out readings for your other placements, your rising sign, your moon sign, your Venus. That'll give you a more full picture of um, of what's going on with you in October, what to look out for, and also, you know, if you have a specific area of your life you're particularly curious about, that helps too. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Let's, let's go. Um, wow, so you guys in October, you're, um, you're finding yourself to be part of some sort of team. Um, maybe this is a team you've been a part of already, but there's a real spirit of teamwork there and in, in combining with other people, joining with other people, um, to create something bigger than yourselves, to create something bigger than any one of you could do alone, because you couldn't accomplish what you're setting out to accomplish alone. Um, that's the beauty of the Three of Pentacles, is realizing that we need other people, we need that connection, we need a supportive team in order to create things sometimes that match um, match our biggest dreams because those dreams are so big um, they are larger than life and they are we want to structure things we want to craft things creatively that will outlast us so there's an element of that here whatever it is that you are working on whatever it is um, that is requiring you to work closely with others um, that being said there is in October some um, risk of conflict with this team, conflict within this team. Um, I'm hearing dissenting opinions, differing opinions about what is the best course of action to create this thing. The, I think there's a clashing of creative vision, um, a clashing of where you see you want to be versus where your teammate sees um, they want themselves to be. So this is creating a sense of, of conflict here and even though the five of wands is not as serious of a conflict as what we see in the higher wands numbers um like the nine or or the ten where it's like a real serious war um this is this is like friendly competition and and debate that often pushes us to to be better um, that being said, there's something about this time where that's particularly draining for you and you don't have a good shot at 
winning whatever this debate is, even even if it's just the most small, um, you know, semantic arguments. It's it's tiny things that you want to win, but you don't have that that strong of a chance of winning because the the teamwork and the encouragement and the connection within the team is being um, fractured in some way. So not a lot of listening is going on and um, there's, um, it's almost a waste to voice your opinion um, you're finding in October because you feel like it's falling on deaf, ear deaf ears. Um, so the message here from Spirit is don't waste that energy in the fight. Um, instead, this could be a good time for you to simply withdraw. Um, sometimes we need to withdraw um, until we have, until later when there's a better chance of winning or a better chance of agreeing or finding common ground and solutions. And actually, I think in this case, a better chance of really working together and compromising or finding a solution that everyone is excited and happy about. This isn't something that you're just going to duke out and like beat your teammates or beat the people who are supposed to be on your side with you. Um, and you don't want that. You don't want to damage the relationships with them in any sort of way because you're in this for the long haul with them. This is a this is a pro this is a long project. This is a, a bit of a marathon. And I'm whatever I'm calling it, it's a project, but it's it doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean a literal project. It's something that you are committed to with with other people. And whether that team is a group of colleagues or it's a family, um, these people are on your side and you ultimately want the same thing. So fighting here is not really um, productive in October. This is a time to withdraw and allow some healing to happen. I'm sensing that the, the conflict and debate is coming from um, some, maybe for others, some of their, their wounds are coming into play here and so are yours. And so it's causing, it's manifesting in a way um, where there's clashing opinions and, um, you know, petty arguments and, um, it's not worth wasting your time over. This is, if you withdraw and really rest, then you have a much better chance of healing. Um, I also see that this, th this conflict might be inevitable, at least in the beginning of the month, and something might happen that actually causes you deep hurt with a teammate, with, with, that, with a colleague, with a family member, that's someone who's on your team. Um, and, it might be, there might be a need for a withdrawal in order to heal from that, from that conflict within your team. Um, regardless, this Four of Swords, this, this withdrawal, this time for rest and rejuvenation is crucial. It's very, very necessary for October. Um, and I sense that there might be a part of you that's resistant to that. It's hard for you to rest. It's hard for you to take yourself out, just remove yourself from um, a situation, especially where you feel responsibility and, and duty to, to, certain, to the people that you're involved um, with. Um, but you're doing them a greater service by withdrawing and by taking care of yourself so that you can come back um, in a much stronger place much stronger, capable, um, loving even, mindset, loving place. I also think that this is not something, you don't have to be in charge of when this time of rest and rejuvenation ends. It's not, it's not even your responsibility to, to decide that. Um, With the Four of Swords, it's kind of reminiscent of, um, you know, m myths and folk tales that show um, characters who fall asleep, like Sleeping Beauty, or um, I think there's um, another one with King Arthur where 
someone is asleep and um, they're not able to be woken. Um, they're kind of under a, a trance-like sleep, like this, this recovery is a trance-like sleep that only an outside energy can break. The prince comes and kisses um, Sleeping Beauty, and that's what wakes her, that's what breaks the spell. So there's, there's also an element here of, of you allowing yourself to rest and rejuvenate until something comes to you to break that to break that time and say, now it's time for you to um, join this team again, to join this effort again. And guys, look at this. We got the nine of pentacles, bottom of the deck here, which is so great. Sorry, I'm just consulting my tarot journal. I was just writing about this lady this morning. Um, yeah, so, so the Nine of Pentacles, um, this, this period of rest and rejuvenation then, wh whereas this is like, this is a, this, these are fights that you can't win, give yourself the time for rest and rejuvenation and you, you have a much better chance at real success and not simply material success but the certainty of knowing that you've made the right choices and done everything that you can and done things in a way that you don't regret at all. Um, and there's something, there's real peace and success in doing that. Um, it's a mark of quality of you as a person and of your character. This is a, the mark of a truly evolved person. Um, having that certainty and being able to look back on your life and, and know or look back on this situation in this case and know that you did everything, you would do it all again the same way. Um, there's also an element with being the Nine of Pentacles, you know, she has sacrificed things to have this kind of level of success, but it's things that you are not too big of sacrifices. It's sacrificing recklessness. It's sacrificing spontaneity in some ways. And I think that this is a perfect depiction of that. Um, by withdrawing and going within, by really resting, um, you don't risk being reckless. You don't, you know, you don't risk saying something that you later regret or doing something that you later regret or hurting some, someone that you later regret. So this is a very measured and disciplined approach to guaranteeing your own success and abundance. Um, and I think it's just the perfect way, the perfect bookend to this Three of Pentacles, to go from three to nine here, um, knowing that this, this thing that you're invested in in the long term, that you, that you are joining with other people to accomplish, it will really, you will reap what you sow, and it will be, um, and what you are sowing, as long as you're not saying yes to these, um, you know, petty um, impulses to fight and squabble and bicker, um, the rewards will be very great. So that's something to look forward to, Cancer. Um, I would love to hear what this, what are the details of this reading for you? How does this, how do these cards manifest in your own life? Feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I would love to connect with you. It means so much to me to get to do that. Um, I give one-on-one -on -one readings. Um, I book those through my Instagram. You can follow me at Starkeology Tarot and DM me if you'd like a private reading. Um, and I hope this was helpful. Um, please share this channel with anyone who you think needs a little extra boost of support and, and encouragement right now. That is why I do this. Um, and it means so much to me that you're here. So thank you for being here. I look forward to the next time we connect. Have the most beautiful October. And I love you and goodbye.